Hello YouTube! Last week we visited the Burton Pinsent Monument, and this week we're looking at another of Somerset's great selection of follies. Welcome to Alfred's Tower. Back in the late 18th century, if you wanted to advertise your wealth and power, you did it in very similar ways to how you do now. You might buy expensive jewels, hold extravagant parties, own a large estate maybe, or as Henry Hall II did, build a skyscraper. Containing over 1 million bricks, 205 steps, and a perimeter of only 51 meters, or 168 feet, Alfred's Tower, or King Alfred's Tower as it's often called, stands at a staggering 49 meters, which is around 160 foot tall. This awe-inspiring structure is even more impressive than it seems, as it was built without the use of any scaffolding or safety equipment. Bricklayers had to sit on the walls as they were built. It was designed by Henry Flickcroft to be one of the main attractions in Henry Hoare's masterpiece of landscape architecture, the Stourhead Gardens. In his early 20s, Henry Hoare would have no doubt embarked on The Grand Tour, and whilst the Amazon show of the same name may bear some similarities, in Henry's time it had become a well-established custom for a young man with significant wealth from the upper classes to embark upon, designed to build on more of a formal education. They were encouraged to explore the best of what Europe had to offer, in art, society and culture, and the influences of this tour can be seen throughout the Stourhead Gardens, with features such as the Pantheon and the Temple of Apollo. Alfred's Tower itself draws inspiration from St Mark's Tower in Venice. This triangular tower stands on the far northwest tip of the site, on King Settle Hill. It was built on the spot where King Alfred raised his standard after emerging from hiding on the Isle of Athelney, and it commemorates the accession of George III in 1760, and the end of the Seven Years' War in 1763. From the tower are spectacular views of the park and the surrounding countryside. It is believed that Henry Hoare chose this spot not simply for the view, but it is where the three counties of Somerset, Wiltshire and Dorset joined, although Dorset's border now lies further south, and that one foot of each of the circular turrets lay in each of the counties. Now the tower belongs to National Trust, and opens for a few days a week between August and October. If you are planning to visit the tower, it is worth checking out their website for the latest opening times to avoid disappointment. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be informed about our next videos.